The Mazda CX-30 has been around with us for two and a half years now, and it has been a phenomenal success. I was a salesman when this car launched and there were floods of people wanting to buy it. It had fantastic styling, much like the three from before it. It had more space in it, like an SUV should. And of course, it was very competitively priced. It was easy to see why so many people loved it. The drive of the CX-30 shouldn't be understated, so I won't. It drives like a Mazda like a Mazda should, I should say. This means you get a naturally aspirated Skyactiv G or Skyactiv X engine with either 122 or 186 PS. Just like I explained in my Mazda 3 video, that 186 PS Skyactiv X engine is tuned for economy, not for performance. You can get more performance out of it if you bury your foot in the, in the throttle, but they actually feel very similar to drive. Personally, and this is personally, if you're doing between say six and 14K a year, the 122 PS version, which is what we're in today, is the one to go for. Once you get beyond that, start looking at the X engine and see if it's right for you. But of course, our dealers will be able to explain that to you. There is a choice between a six speed manual, which is what we've got here, and a six speed torque converter. And of course, depending on the trim, either front wheel or all wheel drive. The all wheel drive, obviously, adapting depending on the road conditions, how you're driving, how much throttle you put in, etc. The car also uses the same mild hybrid system as found in the Mazda 3. This helps with things like initial inertia. Now, this isn't a full hybrid system or a plug-in hybrid system. Basically, you never have to charge it, and it helps with little things, running some of the electronics in the car, it helps with smoothing out gear changes, and it also helps with initial inertia. As I'm sure you know if you've ever pushed a car when you've broken down, it's very hard to get the car going, but once it's rolling, it's very easy. And the same is true when it comes to the engine. So the mild hybrid actually does that initial push for you, gets you off the line, and it's amazing how much fuel that'll actually save. For example, this is a CX-3. And even though it's got roughly the same engine, it's lighter, it's got less car to push against the air, the CX-30 would actually get about 10 miles to the gallon better off than this car. Speaking of MPG, you'll get somewhere between 44 and 55 on average, depending on spec, how you drive, whether it's all-wheel drive, automatic. Personally, on my journey to work, I was getting somewhere between 48 and 50 miles to the gallon when I was running these as demonstrators when I was a salesman many moons ago. That means in the current climate, it'll only cost you your life savings to get to work, and that's brilliant. Jokes about fuel prices aside, it's honestly a great drive, as I mentioned before. It's not firm, but it's not soft either. It's supple, it's an in-between. You don't feel like you're gonna lean over and graze your wing mirrors every time you go around a corner, but at the same time, my spine isn't going through the floor into the road itself. It's a very good balance. You feel secure, which means I think Mazda have got the balance just right for a car like this. Throttle response is good, and being naturally aspirated obviously means there's no turbo lag, so you just drop a gear, and go! Same for the Skyactiv X version. A lot of people list it as having a supercharger as well, but it's actually more of an air compressor to force all of that air that's needed for that high compression ratio into the engine. If you want to find out more about the Skyactiv X engine, um, you can watch our Mazda 3 video after this, and I do a, a pretty good explanation in there, and you can see what's what. Specification-wise, it follows the same structure as the 3. You get the SEL, the SEL Lux, the Sport, the GT Sport, and the GT Sport Tech. There are separate additions as well. These are to account for the current chip shortage. For example, the GT Sport Edition won't have the 12-speaker Bose sound system, but will be a slightly cheaper price. For now, though, let's just focus on the lineup. And before we go into that, make sure you you know, hit the like button if you're enjoying the video so far. Subscribing is free, you can unsubscribe at any time. So, the SEL, what does that come with? You get 16 inch grey alloy wheels, heated power folding door mirrors, front rain sensing wipers with adjustable sensitivity and speed. You get LED headlights with auto dipping, 
parking sensors at the rear, a seven inch TFT instrument gauge cluster display, an electronic parking brake, eight fantastic speakers, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, you get an 8.8 .8 color center display, media command center, and you get five years of updates with the Mazda navigation system as well. Of course, the standard, you get air conditioning, electric windows all around. You get Mazda's phenomenal radar guided cruise control. That's standard on every single model, no matter what. And of course, don't forget about the head up display. That's standard on every car too. This will show the speed you're going, the speed of the road, satellite navigation directions, any warnings, things like your blind spot monitoring. Oh, and uh, blind spot monitoring is standard as well. You also get a swath of safety equipment. You get like e-call, obviously. You get intelligent speed assist, lane keep assist. You get smart city brake support. You get remote central locking, traffic sign recognition. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of safety tech, to be honest with you. And especially, it's a lot considering the price, because at the time of filming, this car starts from twenty four thousand six hundred and 45 pounds. So what if you move over though to the next in the range, the SEL Lux, that starts from 26,145 pounds. What do you get then? Well, you get an auto dimming driver's door mirror. So this will actually tint itself <laughs> as we drive along. If somebody's shining a light in it, you get all round parking sensors, a reversing camera. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror, the heated front seats, and of course you get sport mode that's selectable for the automatic versions as well. You get smart keyless entry and of course dual zone climate control so your partner doesn't have to roast if you're a fan of the heat. Moving over to the Sport Lux starting from £27,245, you'll get 18 inch alloy wheels. B pillar and C pillar garnish becomes piano black as well as the grille as well. The headlights become Mazda's signature headlights with adaptive auto leveling and they'll actually block the car coming towards you without dipping the remaining lights that don't need to be dipped. They're phenomenal. You get rear signature lights as well. A power lift tailgate, a slide sunroof as well on the Sky X models, rear privacy glass and a frameless dipping mirror. However, there are some things that aren't mentioned in the brochure too. The central console changes slightly to give you a cover for your cup holders. And as well as that, you get a nice chrome bezel around your steering wheel, just making things a little bit more fancy. And then we get to ridiculous town, the GT Sport. The GT Sport starts at 29,000 155 pounds and is starting to get extremely luxurious with black leather seat trim, rich brown accents, a driver's seat, power slide, recline, memory function on those seats as well. And that'll actually memorize the wing mirrors and the head up display to your position as well. And you can set two different ones and it will be memorized to whichever key. So if my wife decided to get into the car with her key, it would go to her position and I would be crushed against the steering wheel if I took her key one day. Or of course, I could just take my own key and put it to the perfect position. You get a heated steering wheel as well. And my favorite bit, a 12 speaker Bose sound system with a subwoofer. Yes, if you want like music, that will be the one for you because it's incredible. That Bose unit also has center point bass match and audio pilot technology. So the car will actually adjust the sound to, not that the car's loud anyway, but it will adjust the sound so that it deadens the outside noise a little bit more. It will auto equalize the car for audio as well. And of course, make sure that you get the right amount of bass. And finally, starting at 30,055 pounds, you get what we're in today, the GT Sport Tech. The tech will add a phenomenal 360 degree reversing camera. This can also show you like a top down view of your wheels to make sure that you never curve them and go into ultra wide mode for the main cameras on the front and back as well. So there's no excuse for hitting that bollard anymore. You get cruising traffic support, which assists the steering when you're in traffic to basically turn it for you. You just keep both hands on the wheel gently and it will keep following the car in front. You get driver monitoring and front cross traffic alert, as well as rear smart city braking. So it really is the full package. 
There are nine colors to choose from as well. You have Arctic White, Snowflake White, Platinum Quartz, Sonic Silver, Polymetal Gray, Deep Crystal Blue, Jet Black, Machine Gray, and the ever gorgeous Soul Red Crystal. Personally, I find most beauty about this car when sitting in the interior. It is a wonderful place to sit. The armrest is in the perfect position. You can slide it back if you're a little bit taller. The steering wheel as well has got that beautiful quality feel and everything in here is, and I mean everything, is soft touch. This is soft touch, this is soft touch, the steering wheel is soft touch, even the bits that you wouldn't normally press. Down here by the camera button, okay, that is soft touch special plastic. Everywhere is all about that quality. And of course, if you want to drive one yourself, give us a ring, the number on screen right now, or of course, send us an email. You can click the left-hand side of the screen as well. That will take you through the Mazda 3 video I mentioned before, where I talked more in depth about the Skyactiv-X engine, or click the right-hand side of the screen to see this car's bigger brother, the Mazda CX-5. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.